Now, be honest with me. How many of you here think that dopamine is a pleasure neurotransmitter? Show of hands. Okay. Well, you're willing to be wrong. Because this is a study, a seminal study done in, uh, in mice in which the dopamine neurons are completely annihilated with knockout. And you can see the mice is much smaller. And a little bit of sugar is put in that uh, mice's mouth, and you can see a pleasure response. You can see a nice little goofy grin. <laughs> and when you put a bitter thing in the, in the mice, you see that a disgust response. However, what the dopamine deficient mice will not do is to work for that sugar. It will not even get up and go a few feet to fetch the sugar because it's lost all desire in living. And these, these mice, they die of dehydration and uh, malnutrition. They are not like the regular mice. So what Olds and Milners had discovered was the limbic dopamine system, a very highly conserved area in all animals. And it is responsible for wanting, for arousal, for action, for consumption. The areas of the brain that give you pleasure are in a different location. It's in your prefrontal cortex, right behind your forehead and your eyes. And dopamine hurt or dopamine arousal is more to get you to work, even suffer to get that anticipated reward. So when we think about reward, we should not just think about pleasure and hedonism. We should also think about desire and motivation and arousal. And if I were to make you guys an evolutionary biologist, and I tasked you with the purpose of survival of species, what would you focus on? Would you focus on giving the animal the capability of desire, motivation, and arousal, or more pleasure and hedonism? So the answer is pretty straightforward, and that is that the dopamine neurons is biology strict to make sure that you don't starve to death because you can't be bothered to find food. In other words, hunt down a carnivorous meal for us. And that you don't hasten human extinction because seducing a potential mate seems like too much of a hassle. The promise of reward is brain strategy to keep you hunting, gathering, working, wooing. And our dopamine reward system evolved thousands of years ago. When we used to roam the savanna, we would find rewards very scarcely and sparsely. It was never designed to be activated as frequently as we are doing it. We now live in a world that is extremely different than our ancestors. So our modern world is filled with all kinds of overwhelming abundance of food that is titillating and stimulating our dopamine neurons. It's as if that tres leches cake is directly wired into my brain and giving me that dopamine arousal and wanting me to cheat and lose my willpower. And when I go home after working for 12 hours in the hospital, all I can do is to sit on the couch and scroll through YouTube, looking for the next dopamine hit from a Dave Feldman or Nick Norwood's video. <laughs> <laughs>